So this year's ASH, we looked at um, our latest and longest follow-up for penantinib treated patients from the phase one trial, which was around 80 patients in total, but we reported on the chronic phase CML patients and looked at response and time to response. And I mean, the conclusions are that in a heavily pre-treated population, people with three, four lines of therapy, that major and complete cytogenetic remissions and molecular emissions were um, achieved, achieved in a, minor, uh, a majority of patients, uh, even deep molecular emissions over time. The uh, patients in the phase one trial, of course, were exposed to lower doses of penantinib, so you know, having a look at the lower dose exposed patients, they actually did quite well compared to the whole group, which I think is encouraging as we're kind of now looking at lower doses of penantinib perhaps moving forward. Of course, the toxicity was a big question, and um, we looked at um, the total and the longest follow-up with regards to uh, arterial occlusive events or venous thrombolic uh, embolism. And I think the conclusions are we need to probably be able to scrutinize these a little better. The rates are quite high. We don't understand the mechanism of action or exactly how to reduce the risk. Um, good news is very few patients need to discontinue due to those kind of adverse events, but they're real and need more attention. So it's sort of a risk-benefit ratio when it comes to platinum, but certainly a, a, a very good drug for uh, highly resistant patients. And, and um, I think we're looking at carefully now at the dose and the uh, toxicity questions as we look, look to use it you know, in the appropriate population.